Hello everyone, and welcome to The Painting Paladin. My name is Justin, and today we are starting to slowly chip away at my monstrous pile of shame. Now the first thing on the agenda is the board game, Space Hulk by Games Workshop. Now you don't necessarily need to paint these since they are technically board game pieces. However, using painted models is always more satisfying. Now I'm not just going to stay here for hours and paint the entire box set, as that would be boring for both you and I. So today we are only going to be painting one model. So to start things out, we are going to be painting the Blood Angels Terminator, Brother Diino. Now in painting this model, I use the Space Hulk mission book as a reference material. This has painted examples of the models on the back page, as well as colored illustrations of each Terminator's coat of arms. So with all that being said, let's head on over to the workbench and get started, shall we? All right, now before we begin, I undercoated this model with Mephiston Red Spray. Now the first color that we're going to be using is Evil Sun Scarlet. And we're just going to paint this all over the red armor plates as well as the casing that's around the bolt gun. Moving on, the next color that we're going to be using is Xandri Dust. Now we're only going to be using this to paint the cloth that's on the armor. Next, we're going to be using the color Rakarth Flesh to paint all of the paper for the purity seals. Moving on, the next color that we're going to be using is Mechanicus Standard Gray. Now we're going to use this to paint the Crux Terminatus that's on his shoulder. Moving on, the next color that we're going to be using is a bat in black. Now we're going to use this to paint all the joints in the model, the fingers for his power fist, and the cord that's near his head, and the one on the crux terminatus. With that black done, we can move on to the next color, and that's going to be Screamer Pink. Now we're just using this to paint the wax for the purity seals. The next color that we're going to be using is Retributor Armor. Now we're going to be using this to paint all the laurels that are around the armor, the Crux Terminatus icons on his chest and waist, 
as well as the bolter rounds that are also around his waist, in the magazine of the bolt gun, and on the casing of the bolter itself, as well as those skulls that are on the back of his armor. Alright, so the next color that we're going to be using is one that we actually already used, and that's Sandry Dust. Now the reason we're going back to this is because I forgot to paint the skulls that were inside of the laurels. At first I thought they were gold, but when I checked the reference book, I noticed that they were actually bone colored. So just go back and paint all the skulls that are in the laurels there with Sandry Dust. Now the next color that we're going to be using is Lead Belcher. Now with this, we're going to paint the cable that's on the front of the Terminator's helmet, as well as those two little stubs that are right next to it, the chains on his chest, the cables that go down his arms, as well as the Storm Bolter itself. So just take your time and work your way around the model, and be careful not to get any on any of that you previously painted. Alright, with that done, we can move on to the next part of the project. Now the next thing we're doing is kind of a pain in the butt, but it makes the model look great, and that's recess shading. Now the color we're using for this is Nullin Oil. Now if you're not familiar with recess shading, it's where you take a thin, fine tip brush and paint the wash into all the deep recesses and cracks of the model. Now we're only going to be doing this on the red armor plating. So just take your time and work your way around all the model. All right, with that recess shading done, it really made the red armor pop. Now the next color that we're going to be using is actually Nullin Oil again, but this time we're going to be doing an all over wash over everything else except for the red armor and the gold. With that null and oil dry, the next color that we're going to be using is Reichland Flesh Shade. Now we're just going to be doing an all over wash all over the gold. Okay. With all the shading finished, it really brought out the detail on this model, but it darkened some of the areas down quite a bit. So we're just going to brighten them back up. Now the first color that we're going to be using for this is Iron Breaker. Now we're only going to be painting this on the raised areas, avoiding those deep recesses where the shade had settled. So just use this color and work your way around all the silver parts. Moving on, the next color that we're going to be using is Dawnstone, and that's to paint the raised areas on the Crux Terminatus.
Next, we're going to use the color Auric Armor Gold to paint all the raised areas of the gold parts. Moving on, the next color that we're going to be using is Rakarth Flesh again, and we're going to use this to paint all the raised areas of the purity seals. Alright, and to finish up the purity seals, the next color that we're going to be using is Screamer Pink again to touch up all the raised areas of the wax. Okay. The next color that we're going to be using is Ushabti Bone, and that's to paint all the raised areas of the cloth. Alright, with the brightening up done, there's just a few small details we have left to finish up. So the next color that we're going to be using is Stormhost Silver. And we're going to use this to paint his eyes, the little camera lenses that are on his shoulder, the lenses for the scope on his storm bolter, and all the blood drops that are around the armor. With that done, the next color that we're going to be using is the contrast paint Warp Lightning to paint his eyes. The next color that we're going to be using is the contrast paint, Talisar Blue, and that's to paint the lenses for the camera on his shoulder and the scope on his bolter. And finally, the next and last color that we're going to be using is the contrast paint, Black Templar, to paint all of the blood drops that are around the armor.
Alright, with that done, this model is all finished up. And then you need to decide if you want to base your model or just paint the base as it is. Alright, now that he's all finished up, he's ready to join back up with his chapter and defend the Imperium. Now a few things to remember when working on this model. The first is, like I said in the beginning, I had the reference book with me the entire time, so it's really convenient to have that next to you so you can keep checking the illustrations and pictures on the back to make sure you're putting the right colors in the right spots. The next is, take your time to avoid any mistakes. But, if you make any mistakes, you can always go back to your previous colors and correct it. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you want to stay up to date with future videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks everyone.